keeping them honest in Egypt, where dozens are dead, hundreds injured after a weekend of bloodshed. It's the worst violence in Egypt since the uprising eight months ago that toppled President Hosni Mubarak. All the talk of a peaceful transition, just talk at this point. Look at this. This is the reality in the new Egypt. Too similar to the old. Military tanks right there running over people Sunday night. Clashes between the army and pro-Coptic Christian protesters turned deadly. At least 25 people killed, nearly 300 others wounded. Coptic Christians are an ancient sect that make up about 9% of Egypt's population. They have faced a lot of violence in recent months, but it's unclear just how the violence started Sunday night or who is to blame. But here's what we do know. The violence erupted when a group of Coptic Christians and supporters of their cause were marching toward the Egyptian state-run television building. Military trucks were set on fire. Some of the protesters could be seen throwing rocks. The army says some in the crowd had guns and fired on them. Yet witnesses say it was the army who fired on the protesters. The stories may be different, but no one, no one can deny this. Look right there, dead bodies in the morgue, the victims of this weekend's clashes. Too many victims to refrigerate, so they are kept on ice. This is the reality in the new Egypt, again, too similar to the old. Once again, the government has imposed a curfew from 2 a.m. to 7 a.m., and people of Egypt still under emergency law, one of the main frustrations they protested back about eight months ago. And the military is not turning the government over to civilians, as it promised to do. Gone are celebrations back in February. You'll likely remember this was the mood. Look at that back then. People taking to the streets, climbing up on tanks. Joyous, the Mubarak regime was history. After weeks of protest in Cairo's Liberation Square, the people of Egypt were facing a new day. New hopes, new dreams. Gone, they thought, were the armored personnel vehicles running over people. You remember this? Egyptians hoped they'd never see anything like that again, but this past weekend, they did. And just like during the uprising earlier this year, video is surfacing on YouTube. Now, we can't independently verify these videos, but we think it's important the world sees what's reportedly going on. We found this video on YouTube. It was recorded last week allegedly shows several members of the Egyptian army repeatedly hitting an Egyptian Christian. The man tries to protect his face from the clubbing. We found another shocking video on YouTube. We must warn you, though, it's not easy to watch. We've blurred the worst of it. This is Egyptian singer Rami Assam. He says he was beaten by the army in March. He says the scars on his back prove it. He claims they hit him and others with wooden sticks, metal pipes, hoses, leather batons, and belts. Also on YouTube from October 2nd, Video purported to show Egyptian police and military forces torturing detainees using tasers on them. Men who aren't showing any aggression, yet they are tasered, slapped. Again, this is the reality in the new Egypt, too similar to the old. Here at home, the White House says now is the time for restraint on all sides so Egyptians can move forward together and forge a strong and united Egypt. Just last week, Defense Secretary Leon Panetta vis visited Egypt and said he had full confidence in the country and its people. He also had this message. It's extremely important for the stability of this region uh, that uh, Egypt be able to develop a strong democracy for the future and meet the aspirations of the Egyptian people.